Hello, this is Dr. Keith. Undoubtedly, you're watching this because you're either my class or you're interested in some of the concepts behind the optics of light. Now, light is anything, including electromagnetic radiation that has that can travel through vacuums. Uh, it can be uh, visible light or not. So, looking at that, let's first just look at a couple simple explanations about light. First of all, we have two concepts that are key to light. That is reflection versus refraction of light. Now, ref reflection is quite different. Even surfaces such as water and glass where light does permeate and penetrate through that second medium, okay, different substance, there's some light that is reflected. Now, in a mirrored surface, in the perfect mirror, light coming in at an incident angle, that's signified by an eye, okay, strikes the surface of the mirror and reflects back at the exact same angle as the incident angle in. So this theta angle is the same as this theta angle. Very simple. And even in surfaces such as glass, we'll see some reflection, although it's not drawn there. But it's minimal if a lot of the light is penetrated. Now, what is medium? Once again, it's different substances. For instance, air, glass, water, types of plastic like plexiglass, other translucent substances. They can be optic fibers, for instance, which are a type of plastic. Now, so we've covered what is reflection. Now let's talk about refraction. Now refraction talks about how light bends. When you change the speed of light that's coming in, if it goes into a new medium, which can be air from a vacuum in space, it can be from air to glass, it can be from air to water, the speed of that light changes. And when the speed of that light changes, it bends light, okay? It acts like it's got particles to it. They bend like waves in an ocean when they strike a barrier, okay? That's part of the duality of light. Now, so if we have an incident angle in again, signified by the letter I, okay? We have the first theta. The angle of incident, note, is not from the, the parallel surface of the block. It's not this angle. It is from the normal. The normal is perpendicular to the surface you're striking. This could be a curved surface, and you'd have to draw a perpendicular at some point, which we won't discuss at this moment. So as it, the light enters, some is reflected, but what is the refracted light? What is its speed? What is its angle? Well, first of all, it gets bent. Notice this theta 2 is less than this theta 1, which is generally the case. Okay, It's a thicker substance than air. If I have air here, and now I have this glass, the substance, the molecules in there are more dense. This slows down the light and bends this ray. Now it strikes the other end where the glass terminates and then it exits, which we're going to talk about in the next video. So we have a refracted angle, which is this little r, and that's how much it's bent from the normal, from the normal, okay, not from the, the parallel of the surface.